Hey folks, this is the Blind Artist of Pennsylvania. I just figured I'd have a, a quick uh, talk with you, tell you a little bit about the adjustments I've had to make. Um, I'm not completely lights out blind. I just want to educate folks enough to understand that about 90% of the visually impaired can see something, but it's impaired them to such a degree as it has me uh, that I, it's knocked me out of the box. I was a licensed psychotherapist for about 25 years and I'm an accelerated learning expert. There are a lot of things that I can do, but I'm in the process of kind of remaking myself. Um, slowly, this is a, a direct uh, result of type 1 diabetes. Um, I've got the eyes of a 30 year old, the optic nerves of a 100 year old man as told to me by my uh, eye surgeons. They've done multiple laser surgeries to stop the retinal bleeding and all the things that can happen as a complication. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm on Instagram and almost uh, two or three posts a day, I try to send, uh, send a message to people that you don't really have time to feel sorry for yourself. Things happen to you. You just gotta do something about it, okay? Uh, I've been going through a particular phase right now where um, I'm very grateful for what I can see and what I've been able to use in terms of digital technology. Uh, I, uh, I Google a, an image up on the computer screen and I can then blow that image up and then I can uh, sketch it using a digital set of eyes. I've got other uh, YouTube posts where I show you the uh, mechanism I use. It's called an Eckenbach. It's a visolux, viso meaning C, uh, lux meaning light. It magnifies things times 22 and it lights things because right now my problem is not only um, the distance seeing is, is almost non-existent. I can't tell the difference between someone coming uh, or a mailbox. My joke is, and when I first uh, lost my vision, I started, I used to wave at mailboxes. Um, it's kind of funny. But at some basic level, um, I also have trouble processing light. Um, because the optic nerves aren't working right, the brain isn't processing images and it's not processing light. But um, just a quick note, I was just put on disability redefined uh, in New York City television. And it's a great opportunity to talk about the fact that um, I haven't given up. In fact, I found a passion, something that I, I'm very proud of. Uh, let me show you quick uh, a quote that I put up on Instagram today. And it's just uh, partly trying to motivate people to say, come on, let's, let's, uh, let's keep trying. Let's keep doing the best we can as people. And here it is. I, post, I posted this particular one today and it says, it's, it's a choice we all need to make. Do I choose the power, love of power or the power of love? Choose wisely. Obviously, that says uh, what's more important, power or love. And I think if you pick the latter versus the former, you're going to be in better shape. Okay? So when you get a chance, check me out on Instagram. I'm at 2BlindMiceArt. That's hashtag 2 is in the actual number, BlindMiceArt. All right. And someone said, so two blind mice. I mean, who are the blind mice? I find that when I create, I don't create, I get out of the way and I let the creator work through me. And it's not in any way to disparage the creator. I'm just saying there's two of us working. And when I get out of the way, the one that really works uh, does the sketching, does the creating, etc. So I look forward to uh, giving you uh, more extensive demonstrations of the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm creating. I've already had a number of art shows and uh, there's a gentleman that's trying to get me down into Soho, New York. So if that happens, I'll keep you posted. I'd love to be able to get my work out to other folks. I inspire about 25 visually impaired uh, artisans, craftsmen, um, young children who will want to uh, still do something in their life despite what's happened to them. All right. Thanks a lot. This is a blind artist of Pennsylvania. My slogan is, it's not about me. It's about we. Thanks a lot and keep it real.